As coronavirus cases continue to increase across North Alabama, more school districts are announcing temporary moves to remote learning as well. And that includes Harvest Elementary and its more than 700 students. Way 31's Will Robinson Smith joins us live from the school. He spoke with parents and administrators about the shift starting next week. Well, what did they tell you? Yeah, well, that shift as it stands will only last a week. And while folks we spoke with say it may be inconvenient, they also recognize that the school is making what they believe is the best choice for both parents, students, as well as staff. I was expecting it, but at the same time, it was like, holy hell. <laughs> Like, of many other parents, what are we going to do? A corner of Katie Morgan's home in Harvest will once again soon become a makeshift classroom for her son Lincoln. This time, they're using a desk in a game and craft nook of the house. This comes as Harvest Elementary School announced on Thursday that, come Monday, all students would shift to remote learning for a week. Schools are doing the best job they can. The teachers are doing the best job they can. And parents are doing the best job they can. Unfortunately, when we go into remote learning, like my son, there's a learning gap that happens in between and they can fall behind and it's hard. That feeling was shared by other parents who declined to talk on camera. School administrators had to make the difficult call because as of Tuesday, 26 students and four employees were in quarantine and one employee was positive for the virus. First grader Lincoln says having to learn at home for the next week won't be all bad. Because I get to be with my mom. But one child's family time can be a parent's challenge. Morgan can look to her son Zachary, who has been in the virtual academy all year, and see how well remote learning can go. But she knows next week will be a struggle for some families. I know work at home moms, you know, and they're like, I don't have help. <laughs> what am I going to do? You know, can't afford daycare, can't afford help. It's just, I don't know, it's going to be hard. And that remote learning schedule starts on Monday. It will last a week till the following Monday. And then students will, of course, be on vacation through the Thanksgiving break. They'll be back in the classroom here at Harvest Elementary on Monday, November 30th. Reporting live in Harvest, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News. Thank you, Will. Parents can register online to pick up lunches during each school day throughout the remote learning period.